Welcome back. I'm Ashley McDowell. I'm joined here this morning by Stephanie Gundula. Good morning. Good morning, Ashley. So I know you guys have started back up your lecture series. Oh, that's right. So how is that going? It's going really well. We've um, this starting in January. We sort of branched out and went south to Harrisville, north to Rogers City, and um, last week we did a lecture. Russ Green did a lecture on uh, a schooner, an old wooden schooner that's about 185 feet deep, up at the Rogers City, the Preskill County Library. And then on Tuesday night, we had a lecture at the Alpena County Library. Um, next month, we're going to be doing lectures about one of our sister sanctuary sites south of the border, south, uh, excuse me, south of the equator um, in uh, Swains Island in American Samoa. So there'll be a couple lectures um, about that in March. So look for that. That's exciting. So that's cool that you guys are branching out to different locations mm -hmm. and not just keeping in Alpena, especially since the expansion and stuff. So exactly. you can branch out to all these different places now. That's right. We want to. I mean, we've always done programs throughout the expanded area, but we, we want to do more and we want to start doing more and, and make sure that we're a presence in those communities. Great. And so I hear there's a lecture tonight as well. There is a lecture tonight. Um, that's in Harrisville at the Harrisville um, Library there. And that's going to be all about the what they call the Queen of the Lakes, the, the steamer Puavik, one of the most famous is one of the most tragic stories in Thunder Bay's maritime history. And that's free and open to the public. It starts at 6 o'clock tonight. Perfect. And so what else is going on at the sanctuary? Well, you know, even though we are branching out and, and hitting the road, we also always have stuff happening at the Great Lakes Maritime Heritage Center. One of the things I was going to talk about today is the, the science on a sphere. And that is a new exhibit that we had installed. It's been about a year now, a little over a year. And it's, it's a great exhibit whether you're coming in for a specific program or whether you're bringing guests in to, to check out what's new and exciting um, here in Alpena and at the Maritime Center. There's only about a hundred of these what they call NOAA science on a sphere in the entire world and one's right here in Alpena. That's exciting. So how does that work? Well I actually brought a little something to just demonstrate exactly how it works. Here we have a miniature sphere and so the way it works is there's a six foot um, carbon fiber, fiber a uh, six foot diameter globe in, in the sphere exhibit. And there are four projectors in each, there's a, one projector in each corner of the room, so four projectors total. And they project a, um, an HD image onto the sphere. They overlap a bit, so it makes it appear that the sphere is rotating and it's a you know, very lively display, but the sphere actually stays still and the projectors do all the work. And they can display what we call data sets onto the sphere, and these are educational um, uh, interactive educational video displays and they can be static or they can be um, movies they can be uh, more video and they also can um, demonstrate everything from ocean currents to um, what's being farmed where to ice cover kind of important right now mm -hmm. to um, even projecting different planets and different um, and moons and things so there's there's almost 400 different data sets that you can see on the Science on a Sphere. So it's a pretty special uh, resource we have here right in Alpena. That's exciting. It seems like very educational, especially for classrooms or students that come in and come to NOAA to tour around and learn different things. That's absolutely true. In fact, teachers can come in and learn how to run the sphere themselves. It's really simple. It runs straight from an iPad and it doesn't take a lot to learn it at all. In half an hour you could master the sphere and they could tailor their um, lesson plans to a field trip to the sanctuary and come and, and demonstrate to their students on the science on a sphere. That's exciting. Well, I'm going to have to come check this out myself yes, actually. Yes, you right should now. learn how to do it. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be exciting. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie, for coming on today and tell us about the lecture series and the science on a sphere. Yes, Ashley. Thank you.